I don't want to be the one to say goodbye, but I will. I don't want to sit on the pavement while you fly, but I will. Because maybe in the future, you're going to come back. You're going to come back to me. Greetings, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter. These aspects in Vedic Sidereal. You can check the description of this video to pull up your Vedic chart. So we have Ingrid Michelson, maybe. So I definitely feel like some of you Pisces are in the stage where you are just kind of lollygagging. <laughs> you're just lollygagging around. You're just kind of hanging around. In fact, you're actually like Inguas. It's the rune that we picked for you guys this month. It is the number 22. And if we look at the bottom, we see Inguas. We see the man slumped over here. He doesn't want to look at reality. He doesn't want to look around him because he already knows that he's in barren land. He sees that the ground is cracked around him. It's not fertile soil. He doesn't feel that he can plant things here. He sees rocks. He sees just rocky, cracked, dry soil. His aura is is kind of diminishing from him but if we see that this card is split in half in the top half we see um <laughs> this is quite a phallic card we see that he is full of joy in his work or is back in a bright beaming yellow and he is finding that shine so to speak this is happening during the new moon if we look at the phase of the moon in this card this is happening at night so a lot of my pisces are doing a lot of processing at night your dream worlds might be crazy at this time if you can take a little extra time listen to a shamanic drum beat or listen to some sort of frequency binaural beats i really like 528 hertz that is for repairing DNA. You can listen to any of these as you fall asleep or listen to them before you fall asleep and then journal about any feeling sensations that come through you. This would be a really powerful exercise for you guys. We do notice here that despite the fact that there is dry, brittle soil with lots of rocks in it, that these beautiful evergreen trees and this lush forest, not to mention we got a little happiness going on down there, and he's got a six pack again. So a lot of my Pisces are in this state where you are going to start getting back in your workout routine. You're going to start taking care of yourself again. You're going to get that energy back. So if you've kind of had a rough month of May, Pisces, I feel like this was kind of where everything kind of went downhill. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you had this strong momentum going into the beginning of the year, kind of like uh, citrine, not citrine, citrine, yes, but I'm holding um, carnelian. So you kind of had this like red charge carnelian towards the beginning of the year, and then you kind of like ran out of gas, like you ran out of blood, and you kind of dried up for a moment. So a lot of my Pisces, and you guys are the fish, right? So you guys are supposed to be wet, you're supposed to be moist, you're supposed to be in water, and we see that he's dry on land, and so he's not in his element. In Pisces, we have to understand that life is like seasons. We can't always be swimming in the ocean. We can't always have the lush wetness around us. We can't always be, you know, making that dough. You can't always be in the limelight. You can't always have your aura on high all the time. So this is a kind of rite of passage into adulthood, Pisces, where you are doing the whole chop wood, carry water, chop wood, carry water, and you are creating a sense of routine and balance. A lot of Pisces can kind of go into a fantasy land. They either dream a lot if they aren't prone towards alcoholism or uh, extra drug use or psychedelics, things of the like, then you can be a Pisces that uses something else for escapism, but Pisces are definitely known the most for escapism tactics. And it seems that a lot of you guys have kind of fallen into escapism of playing victim, which kind of goes perfectly into your uh, animal cards and your, I pulled a lover's path tarot just to kind of get an overall energy of what the balance of this reading is going to be, the balance, what the energy of the reading is going to be and its balance. We have the card temperance, which is represented by Venus and Vulcan. And the whole thing with their marriage was that Vulcan was this very dry, boring, like people looked at Vulcan, they're like, really, Venus is with him? Now granted, Venus did cheat on him constantly, but he knew about it, so is it really, I don't know. Marriages back then really confused me because mostly it was the guys who would have like a million mistresses. You think of like, I don't know, most of the Greek gods would kind of sleep with whoever and then yeah, they had their like main queen wife, but this was kind of the other way around, but they actually had a really beautiful marriage and they really cared about each other and they really worked together as a team, which was interesting, but he was very boring and stable and steady and she was just very passionate and very watery and fluid and sensual and we see that element here that she represents the water and he represents the fire so there's also a marrying of the boring the brittle the stability with your fluidity with your dreamlike world with your fantasy land and pisces this month is going to be all about you creating the balance to that 
This is going to be about you marrying the fire and the water and bringing them together so that they meet. We see a, a shape M. So you guys might be dealing with someone with the initial M. I don't know why that might just be for like one or two of you guys. And of course we have um, V and like Vulcan and Venus. So there's V's there and then balance. So um, B, V or M might be initials of something or an H. I'm seeing an H here too. So balance is all about temperance. This also has to do with balancing spirituality. So Pisces, it will be really powerful for you guys to tap into your spirituality, pray more this month, get into uh, Florida water, auric shield spray, sound bowls, shamanic drumming, using crystal therapy, anything like that, going outside, getting barefoot on the dirt and grounding yourself. All of these will suit you guys as you seek balance this month. And a lot of my Pisces are just looking for that stability. And we see a lot of Earth represented here from the rune Inguas. Inguas is also, it is the Earth God. <laughs> it's about the hero's journey. It is about fruitfulness, protection, fermentation, growth, being in solitude, having patience, and being quiet, which kind of goes perfect with the animal medicine cards, which I will bring up in a moment here, Pisces. This is about a deep personal development that is occurring within you at this time. This is all about a seed that's being planted, a rune of separation and isolation in order to create a space or a place where the process of transformation into a higher state of being may occur for you. So this is kind of one of those things where you are who you hang out with, you become who you hang out with. So Pisces, this month, it's imperative that you only hang out with yourself so that you're only becoming yourself and you're not becoming other people. And the people that really care about you won't take this personally. They won't be like, ah, what did I do to you? Like, what happened? It, they won't take it like that. They'll just understand, oh, Pisces is in a moment where Pisces needs to create, and Pisces is so fluid and watery and empathic that Pisces will just kind of take on. It's like the pens that like whenever you touch them on paper and they just kind of bleed, the ink just bleeds. Pisces, that's how you are. You just absorb everybody's energy around you like a sponge. And so it is very detrimental to your growth. It's detrimental to your potency. We see that quite literally, like he's very potent in this top card, but there's impotency in the bottom. Um, <laughs> Nothing's, get, nothing's getting up in that bottom picture. <laughs> he's head down, he's like slumped down, like everything. The energy is just like kerplunk. It's just down, it's heavy. And that makes a lot of sense because if you are empathic during a time like this in the world where everything is going down, how it's going down, then it only makes sense that with how the collective is going right now, Pisces, you are at, I mean, I, I don't wanna say this because it's not giving you any right to be in a victim mode, especially with the opossum card in reverse over here, Pisces, but Pisces of all the signs is the most likely to be very deeply affected by what's going on in the collective right now. That being said, it's important that you can guard yourself. Inguas is I-N-G, Inguas. So it's all about putting action Pisces. You are not just going to magically wake up one day and be potent, have your aura shining, have that six pack. You have to put in work, but what you do every day is what you will become. So this is the time, Pisces, to create a schedule, stick to it, do what you got to do. This is about only when we know our solitude to be different from our loneliness, may we honor and be whole enough for another's place. I butchered that a little bit. Only when we know our solitude to be different from our loneliness can we be whole enough to honor another's place. So Pisces, this is you preparing for partnership in a greater way. This is you preparing for deeper relationships. This is you preparing. You're in a state of preparation. This is all about taking time for oneself, moving without change, uh, immaturity transforming to maturity. This is about nature's law of death and rebirth, a masterful artistry of letting go. So for a lot of my Pisces, uh, you ended something a while ago, but you didn't actually process the ending. You just went straight into that like Piscean fantasy or like fanatical, overstimul overstimulated, like go, go, go mode. So you just kind of put yourself into one thing after another, after another, after another, and your gas has kind of run out it's kind of run its course and the trauma is still there because you didn't really deal with the trauma, whether it was relationship, life experience, work, whatever it was, loss of something, you lost something that meant a lot to you, Pisces, that you had a lot of emotional investment that your heart was really invested in. And because you lost that thing, a part of you was lost with it, but it's not that it was really lost, you gave it away. And because you gave it away, you have the power to take it back. No one can take anything from you, Pisces, especially your energy. You only give it away and you give others permission to 
absorb it, but you can also take it right back. So Pisces, this month is all about you taking it back so you can regain that potency, get your shine back, get your aura back. This is a catalyst for movement towards your wholeness. This is also about sex magic. I don't think I'm supposed to say that word, so I'm kind of saying it uh, like silently-ish. Sensuality, um, expanding. So you guys might be kind of moving towards relationship this month. This is all about the moon, the cycles of the moon, the apple tree, amber and moonstone. So amber and moonstone will be important and potent crystals for you guys. There's amber in this earring, actually, I believe. This is all about learning from nature, feeding your creativity and strengthening your mind. This is calling you to stop being passive. This is telling you to go out of your comfort zone, Pisces, to go. This is a very powerful chemistry in love, healing the reproductive system, um, healing your womb, and men have wombs as well. So doing womb work is going to be very and powerful for you Pisces. This is all about balance and achieving balance, which is perfect because we have that temperance card, the balance card, Venus and Vulcan. So balancing your stability, your groundedness, but like grounded with fire. So I'm feeling like a volcano type action and grounding it with like the ocean waters, grounding it with your emotions, how you express yourself, how you feel, the depth of your feelings. Um, penetration, all of that. This is saying don't turn away because you don't see results fast enough, Pisces. That is the biggest thing. Like you can see, have a new creative idea, you get so excited, you're so inspired, you have all this energy, and then it just kind of goes kaput. And that's where chop wood, carry water. Chop wood, carry water. You must do the daily action. You have to put in that work, Pisces. No one can do that work for you. This is about reinforcing your healing capabilities. So if any of you guys are like worried that you're not gonna heal, you are, it's right here. There's no reversals for this card. It is only good news. And it is all about new beginnings and ending a cycle. So of course, whatever you had to let go of, it's going to be difficult to fully release. You're kinda like still clinging onto it, but you've already reached the 10, you know, like 10 of swords, 10 of wands. This is clearly a burden. So I'm going to go to your animal medicine right now. We have a lot of fives. We have, uh, so what's cool about this deck is this deck arrives with uh, blank cards and you can fill out the cards however you desire. So I wrote, drew some animals on some of these cards. And I think it's hilarious because three cards came out for you guys and two of them are the ones that I drew. So we have tiger and shark. And I believe you are the tiger, Pisces, and you're dealing with a shark. Now, I know that technically Pisces is a fish, so you'd think that like, you're the shark, but no, I'm definitely feeling that you're the tiger and someone else is a shark. And what we see here is the five and the seven equals 12, and that is a three in numerology. So this is someone who is trying to just get a bite out of you. You know, when I think of sharks, I think of the fact that when they like bite humans, they don't actually like eating human, they just like bite them, but the person's still gonna die and bleed out. Like I literally just read this a couple days ago. There's another fatality from a shark bite and it's, it's sad, you know, it's like, you aren't, I mean, I hate to say it this way, but like it's, it's wasteful of the whole body because it's not even like you're being sacrificed to be nutrients for another thing. The metaphor here is that like this shark that wants to take a bite out of you is not looking for a long-term investment. He's not looking for like a full meal. He just wants to take a bite out of you, Pisces. So whenever you feel like now that you've heard this, you'll know because you're Pisces, you'll know who the shark is, but there's a shark in your waters. Now, the good thing about that is you're a jungle cat, you're a tiger. And when I think of tiger, we see, okay, five, five. So we have fives and sevens. So you guys might see five, five, five a lot, five, 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 five. You might see five, seven, five, seven, five, seven. Sevens and fives will be really prominent for you guys. Now, we also had opossum, but opossum came out in reverse. And opossum is the number 23, and that adds up to a five. Fives are all about challenges, but they're challenges that bring you into the harmony and the balance of the six energy. Now, the six energy is also about volunteering, it's about serving, it's about how you can show up in your community. It's saying that you don't become successful and then serve, you become successful by serving. So if you aren't successful, it's because you're not serving enough. And that's just a reality of the situation, Pisces. So you need to kind of do some inner work and check in and see, okay, how can I serve others more? If you were really prosperous at the beginning of the year and you're not anymore, how were you serving people more at the beginning of the year and you're no longer serving? And yes, Pisces, you, we know you had to go to a, a healing stage, but 
the universe is saying, get out of that healing stage now and put your gifts out into the world because your energy is needed, Pisces, at this time. Now, opossum in reverse, I will read in a moment from the book, but I just want to touch down on this tiger energy. Like I said, five and five equals a 10. That's beyond the completion. In a hermetic cycle, nine is a completion and 10 is kind of like the review. 10 is like you're integrating the lesson, right? Because right after you experience a trauma, the body will kind of go in a shutdown mode and you don't really feel all of the pain from that trauma yet. You don't process the trauma yet because it's a survival mechanism and it's a defense mechanism. So nine is when you've completed that cycle, you left this relationship, you left that workplace, you lost someone, there is some big loss here, right? But then you entered the 10 phase. And in the 10 phase, you have all the strength the grit, the tenacity, the courage, you have that willpower, you have that extra oomph in you from having been through the nine cycles and really earning your stripes, so to speak, Pisces. However, the 10 is doing that review. So in the review, you're being tested because someone sees your worth, they see the work that you've done, but they're also just like curious because when I think of tigers, like they're very stealthy. They are, yeah, like king of the jungle, but they don't just like roam around the prairie like a lion does. You know, like whenever you see a lion on a safari, they'll just like hang out wide in the open. They'll just be like, yeah, I'm chilling in a field, hanging out, taking a nap under a tree, doing lion things. But tigers don't do that. Tigers hide in the jungle. They hide. And so Pisces, I feel like you're still hiding and the universe is telling you stop hiding because you have the strength, you have everything you need to deal with these sharks because these sharks I mean, if you drown their tank, then they're going to dry up. Their gills are going to dry out. They're going to die. You're going to starve them. So this is the matter of draining the tank, staying in the jungle, knowing when to pounce, when to use the power, the prowess of being a tiger. I also think of tigers are very sensual and they're very forward, very dominant. So Pisces, you might be very forward and dominant in your sensual matters this month with whoever you are dealing with physically. Uh, be careful if, you know, the shark might be someone who just wants a taste. But again, they just want a bite out of you. They don't actually want the commitment. They don't want the long term. And they may not even know this. This shark in your environment, Pisces, is curious about you and they're watching you. They're kind of doing that shark thing. But again, they just want a bite. So opossum in reverse. In the contrary, here's the opossum card. In the reverse position, opossum may be warning you against getting caught up in high drama, Pisces. Drama may be keeping you from seeing the truth of a situation. You may buy into the melodrama in yourself or in others. You might as well play dead if you are justifying what you are doing with the whole victim routine thing, Pisces. If this concept does not apply to your situation, take a look at the possibility that you may have recently been giving excuses for why you don't want to do something instead of telling yourself the honest truth. And fearing to hurt someone's feelings, you may have trapped yourself in a pattern. I am too sick to do that. I'm too poor to do this. I'm watching my weight. I'm too tall. I'm too sad. I'm too short. I'm too sad. I'm too busy to do that. I'm too tired to get that done. Pisces, what are you too? So drop it. Just drop it. And having to defend yourself with excuses, you've lost the point entirely. In fact, Pisces, you never have to defend your right to be. You never have to defend your right to be, Pisces. The exercise right now is learning to simply say something politely. Say, that's not appropriate for me at this time. If someone asks you to do something, if they're very vehemently kind of pushing your buttons, just say, it's not appropriate for me to answer that right now. I don't have an answer for you. Just say it politely and don't leave them on red and you don't have to bite their head off and you don't have to get emotional and start crying and be like, why are you, I'm just so busy and everyone's, you know, you don't have to do that, Pisces. You can just say, now is not an appropriate time for me to answer that question or at this time, I'm taking time for myself. I hear you and this month is about isolation for me. Have a good day or have a good month. You know, just like set your boundary and be firm in that boundary. You owe no one a, you owe no one a excuse, Pisces. Learn to imitate the opossum and learn to play dead. In the sense that the best strategy is simply no defense. And assuming the viewpoint of no defense, then you've chosen the right to be exactly who and what you are with no games involved and you are not playing games. Okay, Pisces, you're not gonna get in that shark tank. Tigers, I don't see tigers in shark tanks. No, you're gonna be king of the jungle, okay? So Pisces, do not let them lure you into the shark tank. Simply stare at them in the water and say, no, thank you. 
I don't need a bath right now. There's a watering hole over here, that's just fine. You don't need to get in the shark tank. The proper use of diversion is to know when you do not need to use diversion at all. You owe no one an excuse or an explanation for what you feel or what you choose to experience. You owe no one an explanation, Pisces. So stick up for yourself. Lastly, we have uniqueness, which is the zebra in my horse deck, which I just love this card. Honor and celebrate your differences at this time, Pisces. You are different and unique from the crowd. Even if it's not appreciated in your present circumstances, please honor the individual within you at this time. Laugh at yourself, celebrate your own offbeat way of handling situations. This is your best path at this time. Be open to considering more conservative requests that are made of you because between the normal of everyone else and your uniqueness is the best trail indeed. Finding the bridge and creating that bridge and that is a rite of passage. Much that is before you is going to require your unique steps and your point of view. Council also shares, however, that some of your actions may need to be tempered into the more middle of the road, which we have set here with the balance card, Temperance. This is a number eight, and it is all about balance, bringing in that harmony. Think of like the infinity symbol. Chop wood, carry water, chop wood, carry water, chop wood, carry water. Just infinite here. Find the rhythm. Rhythmic things will be really important for you, Pisces, so make sure every single day you do some sort of rhythmic, steady activity for at least 30 minutes. Whether it's drumming consecutively, walking a really steady pace, playing an instrument and playing really steadily, do something that's steady every single day for 30 minutes, Pisces. See how you can blend the two to work for the greater good and your journey ahead. So let's see what your tarot says. She's blood, flesh and bones, no tux or silicone. She's touch, smell, sight, taste, and sound. But somehow I can't believe that anything should happen. I know where I belong and nothing's going to happen because she's so high. <laughs> she's so high above me. She's so lovely. She's so high like Cleopatra, Joan of Arc, or Aphrodite. Oh my gosh, Pisces. Okay, so my Pisces men, you guys are definitely feeling someone, and you just look up to her. Like, you are looking at her like she's a freaking goddess, queen. Like, you are just in awe of this woman. Now, I will say, whenever I was doing your pre-shuffle, Pisces, that I saw the King of Cups in reverse. So, if this is someone that you've already been in cahoots with, they've kind of given you the middle finger, or they've kind of, like, uh, just kind of have let you know, like, they're not interested, or they're pissed off in some sort of, okay, we have Nine of Wands uh, crossed by the Justice card. Nine of Wands in reverse. So, okay, just like I was saying in Hermetics, how Nine is a complete cycle, in reverse, it's a complete cycle of passion. So something, someone kind of put, like, a great wall of China up, but the cycle's not done, like, your karma isn't done with you and this person, because we have justice crossing. So like justice needs to take place. But right now you guys aren't talking. And you are, <laughs> he's sitting, I see this, it's, uh, ooh, he's one of those, what is it? Phil, okay, Phil from Hercules. Phil, the little like goat man. Okay, so this is a goat man. We see he has hooves here. So Pisces, some of you guys might have Capricorn in your chart or Aries, but I'm feeling more of like a Capricorn goat vibe. Uh, goat just stands for greatest of all time. So, you know, be a little goat man, Capricorn. It's a good thing. Uh, Pisces, but you know. For some of my Pisces girls, you have a Capricorn guy because we see the guy here who is fiending for you. And um, he thinks you're like Cleopatra or Aphrodite, something like that. He's playing a wooden flute. Now, when we look in the background here, there's like this warrior red devilish thing on the bridge. And I think it's pretty interesting he's on a bridge because it's kind of saying, ooh, like the devil on the bridge is what's come between you and this person. So for my guys, you're, there's like addictions, uh, negative behavior patterns, fear-based things, things. There's things that have happened in your past or conditioning that has happened to you for my boys that have stopped you from being in cahoots with this woman. So she put up, we see her, <laughs> titties out. She's got two seahorses right here. And she's just beautiful. She's chilling here. But she has her sword, and she has these two cups are hanging from the seahorses. And I think of seahorses, you know, they are very much partners. Like, I'm pretty sure the male, the male seahorse carries the babies. Like, he's like, here, baby, like, let me help you. So with seahorses, it's very, 
it's very much a companionship. It's a partnership. There is no one who's like higher than the other one. There's no hierarchy. So she's so high above me wouldn't count for this because she says she wants equal. So I feel like for my Pisces women, you like notice that guys put you on a platform and you're sick of this. You're like, hi, I'm a normal person too. Like, yes, I'm a goddess and I'm this cosmic goddess star child. But at the same time, I'm just like a human just like any other thing. I am flesh and bone, dirt, you know. So there is this thing where my Pisces ladies are feeling misunderstood and she has this giant sword from her right hand. So that means a lot of my Pisces women are very secure and they're masculine. They, you know, make their own pentacle, they make their own coin, they know how to make a living, they take care of themselves, they have their own place, they can pay their bills, you know, they are doing well for themselves. and. If they're not quite in those things then they take care of the household that they're in you know they take care of things they don't want to be taken care of they want a man not because they need someone to like take care of them and pay for things they want a man because they want partnership she wants love and so she has these two empty cups here but the seahorses are just waiting for that love and we see in the nine of wands you know he's here sitting he's playing music it's like he's like man I never felt things like this before this love this feeling like she's just making me feel these things but you guys are not together right now we see injustice she's by herself and we see and the nine of wands he's by himself and we see the devil on the bridge which is keeping you guys apart so this is very interesting right off the bat Pisces oh my gosh <laughs> your subconscious we have the lovers and they're like holding each other and embracing so for some of my Pisces uh, there's a Gemini involved or there's someone who has Gemini in their chart for sure so in the subconscious for, for my Pisces ladies you may be dreaming of a guy who has Gemini in his chart or uh, a Gemini is dreaming of you, Pisces. And either way, if you know none of you guys have Gemini in there, Gemini is all about communication, air, element of air, and they are naked and embracing right here. And we see in the Nine of Wands and the Justice, there is no embrace. They are separate. They're not together. And that Nine of Wands is in reverse. He wants to reverse. He wants to go back. He wants to make amends. He wants to have justice. And she is wanting some sort of partnership. He's kind of wondering, like, is she available? Is she still single? Like, can I still get to her? Because, like, whatever you said, Pisces ladies, whatever you said, like, cut like a, cut like a dagger. Like, you cut deep. You see how big that sword is she carries? She knows her words cut. She's a tiger. <laughs> <laughs> and he's maybe the shark or maybe the shark is someone else the shark could also be that devil en energy which the devil is represented by Capricorn so it makes sense that for some of my Capricorn guys you just kind of teeter back and forth between your shadow and your light and you haven't really grounded into your light enough you guys this is where I say we have to live for something bigger than us and better because of us. Bigger than you and better because of you. That is so crucial to the human experience to not let your demons take you over. It's kind of like uh, Shiva and Shakti. Like you have to have your foot on, on the darkness, like your foot over the dark wolf. And it has to be the foot because it needs to be like below, below the waist. You gotta like push it down to the side and make sure that Yes, you still listen to what it has to say and you recognize that it's there, but you don't ever let yourself take action or speak word or let your heart be guided in decisions from your like from your shadow side, from your devil side. You know, you have the dark wolf and you have the white wolf. All of us do. Which one are you going to feed? That's the one that's going to get stronger. So you have to ask yourself in every moment, Am I feeding my dark wolf? Am I feeding my light wolf? And for a lot of my guys, whether you're Pisces or if you're a cross watcher and it's, you know, Pisces lady or girl who has Pisces in her chart, for my men, you have only, you've been feeding your dark wolf as much as you've been feeding your white wolf. So you're like 50-50. And she can tell, and that doesn't feel safe to her. And because that doesn't feel safe to her, she, of course, is going to have a dagger that's 10 feet long, and she will slice the shit out of you if you try and get near her because she's protecting herself. She is in that tiger energy. And you know, maybe she's kind of playing dead to the situation right now. She needs balance in this. Man, this is an interesting reading. What's crowning you guys is the 10 of wands in reverse. Now we see in the 10 of wands, we see this masterful male painter and he's painting this naked woman. So, you know, it's like, you guys are probably totally artists. Um, someone is drawing you, someone's uh, singing about you, someone's making art with you, someone's thinking about making art with you. I'm seeing light coming in through this window. So it's like you illuminated something in his life for my Pisces ladies. And for my Pisces men, 
she, whoever you're connecting with, has illuminated something in your heart. Now the Ten of Wands is in reverse because you don't want these burdens anymore. The Nine of Wands in reverse, the Ten of Wands in reverse, like everything was really burdensome. There's something that was really burdensome and you don't want that anymore. We have Six of Pentacles in reverse as your past energy. Now it's kind of interesting in this card, Six of Pentacles is kind of someone who's popular, but they're popular with all of the pages. So it could be like a social media influencer who has like a hundred DMs from girls a day, see all these naked sirens, these naked ladies that are like, oh my gosh, ah, blah, 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 blah. So it's like all these people are like looking up to him. He's like, yeah, I know. I just have a perfect this, right? You know, I'm really good at acting. I'm really good at karate. I'm really good at handstands. I'm really good at yoga. I'm really good at music. Like whatever he, his thing is, he's known on Instagram for, or he's known like, or she, this is a girl or a guy who definitely has a social media influence, but they have like all of these pages. They have like a little fan club. They all have all these groupies. And this is what ended the relationship because the queen, you see, she's like, she's like, really? Really? Like, I want nothing to do with this. I'm a queen. I don't fuck with pages. I don't fuck with knights. Like, knights come and go. She doesn't want that. She doesn't want any of the action. And she sure as hell does not want a man who, because he's so insecure, he needs petty attention from these little bimbos. No, she doesn't want that. She's like, I'm not going to fuck with that. And he got caught. And so because he got caught in that, he's now, like, realizing that there's never going to be long-term happiness in any of these short-term hookups or, like, quick fleeting affirmations from these sirens in the water so if someone was getting attention from other people doesn't necessarily mean that they're cheating like i don't even know that these people are in a relationship but regardless we see how the pentacles are hanging on the tree behind him so rather than caring about the stability because pentacles is not just money it's stability it's creating a home it's a foundation rather than caring about the foundation he cared about the popularity and because he cared about the popularity and getting the attention of these women the queen could like tell that and she's like this and she cut that shit off She's like, no, not in my house. No siree. So, of course, what's the future card? Page of Cups in reverse, because I already told you guys, the queen doesn't want a page. She's not going to fuck with this. So if you're a guy, which, how hilarious is this, Pisces? Look, he's walking next to a huge ass fish. How hilarious is that in this card? Like, literally, this is a fucking giant ass fish, and his cup is empty. His cup is empty. His cup is dry, just like Ingua's over here. You see the, like, brittle, dry ground? So, for the guy, he's, like, sulking. He's playing victim mode right now. And the woman is like, seriously? Seriously? Like, I'm not gonna, like, I can't make you a king. You have to claim the kingdom, and you have to make yourself a king. But someone is not doing the work. He's just diddle-daddling under this tree, and he's letting his demons on that bridge keep them apart. It's fucking stupid, and she's not about it. So she's out here manifesting someone else, which is why we see that purple swirl. I'm seeing, like, the spiral. The spiral, the cycles of life. Wouldn't be surprised if the Wheel of Fortune comes out here. We have Three of Wands in reverse is your environment energy, Pisces. So Three of Wands in reverse, someone wants to travel, but they're not going to because of COVID. We see this knight, da, 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 he's like on the ship traveling. He's like, I'm going to visit her, but it's in reverse. So it's like someone wants to visit you. They want to talk to you. They want to make a passionate move towards you, but they're kind of nervous because Page of Cups in reverse, they feel like they're a page. They don't feel like they're good enough for you because they put you on a pedestal, which... Pisces, you're like frustrated by that, or you don't think you're good enough and you put the other person on the pedestal, whichever, you know, flip this to wherever it fits, but someone's putting someone on a pedestal and they feel like they're a page and they don't feel like they're worthy of the other person, which is so ridiculous, you guys, so ridiculous. And so because of that, we have the three of wands in reverse. It's like they're every day. They're like, should I reach out? Should I, should I do this? Should I do that? It's like someone cannot make up their freaking mind here. They're like playing. Oh my gosh. Of course we have this six of wands. So with that six of pentacles in reverse, I was kind of reading the six of pentacles like the six of wands because if you look at the art on the six of pentacles, it's very reminiscent with the six of wands is, but it was in reverse. It was like, you know, he was not, like I said, he was not prioritizing the pentacles. He wasn't prioritizing something of longevity of the foundation. He was just getting caught in the sauce, lost in the sauce of like, ooh, I'm getting attention. It's like, ooh, yeah, feels good. Feels good for like a week or two or three. And then when you're old and you're like, oh crap, I have no wife or kids. I have no foundation. I have no home. I have no one to take care of, no one to grow old with. I have no one to like, what? Yeah, you like wasted it all on petty Instagram DMs, which is disgusting, or like Tinder swipes, which is also disgusting. So we have the Six of Wands, and he is carrying, he's, oh, there's someone in 
that cart. Interesting. So this is hopes, dreams, and fears. I feel like Pis Pisces, for some of my Pisces women, like, he just wants to, like, come through, like, throw you in his carriage and, like, try, he wants to, like, run away with you. See, like, this is three of wands. He's like, I want to come to you. I want to offer you this empty cup because I'm sick of my cup being empty. I miss you. I miss drawing you. I miss holding you. I mean, look at them in the lover's card. There's, like, I miss you in this. Like, I'm sorry that I was out here lollygagging with these bitches, but, like, I can't get to you fast enough, and once I get to you, I'm going to throw you in my carriage, and I'm going to run off, right off with you, and it's just going to be us. Like, someone, I'm feeling, like, control. I feel like this is the shark. I feel like the Six of Wands energy is the shark. I feel like, Pisces, you're dealing with a couple different people here. Ooh. And the ending card is death in reverse. Now, I will say... So death in reverse, you could be dealing with a Scorpio Pisces or someone with Scorpio. Death in reverse is obviously someone is bringing up something from the dead. Bringing back something from the dead. So this could be someone they haven't talked to in a while. Pisces, someone is, I feel like this death card is actually, yeah. This six of wands and the death card in reverse is like an ex or someone from the past. You definitely don't want this person. You definitely don't want this person. I feel like the Page of Cups and the Six of Pentacles and the Lovers are like someone else. But I actually feel like the Lovers card could be like interchangeable for either of these people. But the Queen knows better. I don't think you're... I feel like this uh, Three of Wands is the Six of Pentacles. The person that you were like, okay, I'll go for this person. But they're like diddle-daddling. They're just focused on other things. They weren't really focused on you. And then you have like this X that, you know, we see this whole dark scene going on and we see in the six of wands his like eyes are covered and he's covering her face he's like he doesn't want people to look at her he's like mine i'm gonna throw it in the carriage i'm gonna run away with her and i have her and she's mine i don't like this energy pisces this is definitely the shark there's definitely a shark that's coming after you and they kind of just want to like lock you up and make you theirs but you're not going to go for it because if we see in this death card it's a woman that's playing the grim reaper which is like this huge black stallion and yeah the man who tried to approach her has a sword but he's slain like she slayed that shit and we see that clearly with the justice card. Like anyone comes up to you and does you wrong, you're going to slay that shit and you're going to do it with your tits out. You're going to be looking great, Pisces. <laughs> Love it. Got the two cups here. She's like, hmm. She just doesn't fuck with any of it. So Pisces this is a very interesting reading. Watch out for the sharks. Uh, watch out for someone that's trying to resurrect something from the dead. Don't go for that. And if this new like page, Six of Pentacles boy comes around, lover, Six of Pentacles, and page of cups comes around then you know don't do this is a great test testament for in the past pisces if you've been in really codependent relationships to not fall victim to being codependent again and just like take things really slowly and let them as they're ready work through the stages watch them become a knight watch them become a king you don't make them do any of those things pisces but you will just watch them and their evolution and you can just kind of see where things go so i'll check in with you guys in two weeks i love you and i'll talk to you guys soon